Today we're going to talk about setting referential integrity and why it's important. And in order to do that, we need to go over the rules that referential integrity enforces so that you can understand them. So let's look at those in referential integrity rules. First off, the first rule is that no primary key can be null. What they're saying is that when you have a primary key that's linked to foreign keys that you're enforcing referential integrity on, the primary key can't have a null value in it. So the record must have the primary key filled in. I mean, the rest of the record can be totally blank. The one piece of it that can't be blank is the primary key. The next one is that rows cannot be added to the many side until there is a value in the one side. Now here's the logic behind that. Let's say that you have an invoice and the invoice has a header record and the header record is your one side. It, because you only have one invoice for this particular order. So you have an invoice and then you have detail records under it. And so in order to add detail records to the invoice, you have to have the header of the invoice filled out before you start working on that. So because of that logic, what you want to do is you want to enforce referential integrity just so that the order gets filled out properly so that everything can be attached properly into the database. The next item, the primary key on the one side can't be changed if it creates an orphan record on the many side. So you can't change your primary keys around unless your records on the many side also have that change or you're pointing it to a different detail record. This is probably not something you'll do very often, um, but definitely it would be an administrator performing some back-end operation to make this kind of a change, which would not be all that likely. The next one is deleting a row on the one side means you can't orphan any record on the many side. So what really has to take place here is the, the record on the one side needs to be deleted along with the records on the many side. So the complete set, in other words, if you're deleting an invoice, you delete the header and all the detail at the same time. You don't leave all the detail there hanging out to, to dry with no record to attach it back to. So you have these sets of rules. Now, how do they look in the database? And how can I get around the idea of rows can't be added to the many side until a record exists on the one side? How do I help the database to make sure that both sides get the record and get linked properly. And for that matter, how do I delete records in a, an efficient way so that I can be able to manage the deleting on the many side and still capture and delete the record on the one side? Let's go address that issue. So if we look at the database that we showed in the last video, we see that we have referential integrity uh, enforced, let's say here. So for every customer, there's a contact, okay? And so in this relationship, the way it is set up, if we look and edit, go into edit mode on this relationship, we can see the referential integrity is enforced. And based on the last video, you could have told that because the infinity side is on the one side and the one side shows the customer ID. So you know that it is a one-to-many relationship and that referential integrity is enforced because those symbols are on the two sides of the links. Okay. But now we've got two referential integrity rules that appear here. We've got cascade update related fields and we have cascade delete related fields. Remember the rule that says you can't delete a one side record without deleting the many side records. So here's cascade delete, and you can't add a many record without the one side record already being there. And that is the cascade update related fields. So if you select both of these, the database helps you to make sure that a record is put on the appropriate side of the fence. So if you add a many side, you're going to get the one side. And if you delete the one side, you're going to also delete the many side. Now, I would express a word of caution in using these is because they're incredibly efficient. 
you delete an invoice and it's going to delete those detail records. And so that may not be exactly what the customer wanted, but you need to be sure that your customer really does want the entire invoice to go away for that, for that example. So um, I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about referential integrity and how to use it. And if you like what you see here, please help me grow the channel by hitting that subscribe button and the like button. And I hope to see you again later. Thanks.